Hmm. Hey, Ellen. Hi. How are you? Good, good. For what it's worth, I just started the meeting. Oh, okay. Are you back in town? I am back in town. I've been running around like crazy today. Um, and um, so I didn't check on um, whether the sign in that I uh, emailed worked last week. Did it? Uh, well, it needed uh, a kind, not yes, but no. Okay. So it need, like I tried to log in and it said, because this is an unknown computer, we've sent an email to the account owner to make sure it's you oh. so then i had to call tony and oh. he didn't pick up so then i texted tony and he um he got on line and started the meeting and then made me the host so i, I got see. on immediately you know, okay and he made me the host all right well i think i'm on why don't you try to get on now and let's see if that works well i don't um yeah i'm just um looking for the uh Email, maybe? No, no. I was just going to go to the calendar. Oh, yeah. See, see if that works. That's good, too. Right? Yep, yeah, sure. Um, okay. So there's a weekly meeting, and then there's a join. There's another link here. I am... Um, wonder i hope they're the same one nancy's in 883 all right so uh eight six three i'll log on this one and see if hi nancy as jean join zoom hmm. nancy you're let you're um muted no, no i'm on <laughs> no, you sure are so nancy how did you get in tonight what did you use um i got this little icon that popped up from my uh, calendar and it said join so I hit okay, it. Okay so how did the calendar get the link the uh, link? Oh, I have no idea. Helen. It said recurring meeting. Oh okay well that's good. Well I guess we're kind of ready to roll. We got three of us. Um, did you have a good time? Um, we had a wonderful time. We had a lot of um, technical problems with computers and uh, uh, electronic communications and it's kind of and, and we were on a very tight schedule and did a lot of traveling and had a lot of connections so it introduced um, what shall I say a little stress into what otherwise would have been a wonderful 10 days and just finishing up today she stayed um, another couple days to make a quick trip from Copenhagen to Lausanne, Switzerland, uh, and from there to Philadelphia. So if you think those are easy connections, you're no, wrong. I'm sure they're not. Ah! I, I never would have thought. Traveling no, no, it's not, um, pretty hectic. My, yeah. I really sympathize with her. It's been a tough, tough time, but it was good to get away. We haven't done much traveling in these COVID days. Yeah. A lot of people ignore it. We do just the opposite. Oh. Right. You guys are pretty conservative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did yes, you, indeed. Did you get your new shots yet? Yes, I did. Yeah. Got them about two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, I did too. I think um, if you really want to avoid this, you're probably going to be getting boosters every six months if they continue making them. Right. and updating them and that's not a given yeah. i don't think so i haven't heard from lynn anybody heard from lynn just the same email we all got earlier in the day yeah it was kind of missing some things wasn't it let's see what it let's see what it said um oh Updated draft. Oh, the, oh, good. All right. I'm sorry, Ellen. I didn't see this. Yeah, you have to read those minutes so we can approve them. Well, you did. Did you do the minutes again? Oh, no. Lynn did them this time. Lynn, okay.
Yeah, I really wasn't able to do much today other than try to clean things up. Um, oh, whatever. So I got something that was called a community preservation schedule, an email from Lynn to everybody at about 1230. Is that what you're talking about, Nancy? Yeah. Okay. Please see the minutes. Where does she put the minutes? If you keep scrolling down, you'll find Oh, it. all the way at the bottom. Got yep. it. Okay, CPA public meeting notice. Uh, the, 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 the presumed per attached invitation. Uh, I don't see it in there. There is no attached invitation. Well, the invitation sort of came from you in, you know, way back when you said. Yeah, a long time ago. I was just, I probably should have sent another one today. I well, to, yeah. I have to admit this was kind of the furthest thing from my mind today. Okay, so here are the minutes. Got it. Okay, so da, 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 da. and then Ellen sent stuff, the draft stuff. Right. Okay. Forty-two. Right. Okay. So let's see if I can be really clever about this and share everything. I don't know if I'm that smart. Okay, so let's go back. Let's put another one of these up here. Oh, that didn't work. Um, let's try it this way. Google inbox, no sign out, Google calendar, new window. That's what I want. Okay, so that's there. That's there. Oh boy. And let's see what's going to happen when I do this. Um, Apps Gmail. <laughs> well, there's Austin Antrim and a very perky looking Lynn Spencer who's muted. Well, she's just getting on, so. Yeah. She's putting on her electronic face. Hola, Lynn. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right, so. There we go. Let's see. 
Okay. Lynn, looks like you're unmuted. Are you in the game? You can hear, you can hear, but we can't hear you. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 For some reason, even though I've been on a Zoom for the last two hours, my audio is not working. <laughs> so Sorry. I'm doing this by uh, phone. Oh, on the screen. Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer. But you know what is really good news is to see you back, Paul. I hope you had a great trip. Um, it's complicated. It was a good trip. I'll give you the details over a couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a couple. I get it. Yeah. I get it. It was good. It was good. Anne finally finished her fourth fourth talk and is hustling off to Zurich by taxi. And tomorrow right. she leaves to Phil for Philadelphia. It's been that kind of a trip. Yeah, I get it. All right. Well, all right. So it is 7.05. Um, I'm Lynn Spencer. I have the privilege of chairing the Hunt Community Preservation Committee, and I will call this meeting to order. So joining me tonight are Paul Spurns, Nancy Gatamo, Ellen Goldberg, Austin Antrim. And is there anyone else? <laughs> Somebody with the number 9737. Who's that? Me. That's Lynn. Oh. Remember, I, should, I'm I should have figured Lynn, that so out. I... <laughs> well, you might be a bit that large. <laughs> yeah, you bet. No problem. You bet. No problem. So uh, we will start by um, the minutes. So I sent out minutes earlier today. 
from last meeting. Yeah, and, and I'm if, I'm, if I'm smart enough and have the privilege, um, no, I can't get this. I can't get the options. Damn. Well, let's try this. Um, no, I can't share my screen. I'm sorry. Thought I could, but I can't. Um, well, Ellen, is that something you might be able to do? Yeah, um, you would just have to, Paul would have to allow me, let's see if I can do it. Um, oh, let's, let's see if I can get, oh, wait a minute, hold it. The, the, uh, I think that the options just popped up here in an unexpected place. I was looking at for them at the top and instead they showed up at the bottom. Okay. So um, let's try, let's see, what do these look like? I think, it, is it this? Uh, are you seeing the minutes now? Oh, sorry, hold it. Are you seeing the minutes now? No. Yes. Yes, you are. We are. Yes. Oh God, what a lucky break. All right. <laughs> you know, I could tell you this. Once we finish this reviewing the minutes, then we're going to think about who's the lucky person who's taking the minutes this meeting. Who's feeling lucky? To, well, all right, first let's do the minutes. It was a short and sweet meeting last time. And it was ably aided by Ellen and Nancy who had drafted the eligibility application and the description process. And that's what we really discussed. No votes were taken. Although we did have a quorum as we do tonight. Yeah, we were waiting till this week to write, vote on that stuff. That's right. Tonight, we really need to work on that. I'd be happy to entertain a motion or any edit. I want to oh, accept the minutes. I'm sorry? September 16th. So I've got a motion from Nancy to sit in favor of the minutes. Do I have a second? I second. Thank you. Any further discussion on the minutes? Then we'll do a vote. Paul? I wasn't here. Okay. Nancy? Aye. Ellen? Aye. Austin? Um, going to abstain. I also was not at that meeting. Right. So. <laughs> That's going to leave the chair to vote and uh, hmm. not quite a quorum. Yeah, they can't be approved, right? Formally? But what about if it was a quorum of the people who were present? Yeah, I would think that makes more sense. In which case, we've just voted the minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, who's feeling lucky tonight? Well, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so beautifully said, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're All right. Well, let's get to the heart of tonight's work, which is the eligibility application. Um, because if you also had a chance to look at your, uh, what I sent out earlier today, we are planning to have a public meeting on October 7th. And the idea is that we're going to approve this application tonight, and I've got things all queued up with wonderful Kristen at Town Hall. We get announcements out to the committee, um, as well as um, onto the town website. 
etc. So, thank you. So I don't know who just put that up. Is that I did. You That's not the right one. Oh, which one do you want? I sent one out tonight. You sent one. This is the one that was on that email. All right. Right. I sent a, an updated one tonight. I I would be happy to share my screen. Yeah. Uh, so how do I let you do it? Let me uh let me just pull it up. Hang on. Because I would like to be able to take notes on it if I need to. Oh, um, okay, good. Changes, yeah. you know. We love that. Yeah. Hang on. So, um, give me a second. I'm navigating. So there's two documents. There's the <clears throat> there's the application, and there's the process. Which do you want to do first? Well, let's start with the process. Okay. Now, do I have to give you permission to share? I'm going to try and share, and it might ask you. Um, okay. Someone else is sharing. So you have to stop sharing, and then let me see if I can. No, I haven't gotten the stop option yet. You have to manually um, click on stop share. Well, if it gives me the option to do that, yes. So there it says uh, share. I don't see stop share. Let's see, I'm looking around the page. Click on share, see if it gives you a stop share option. I'll show you exactly what I'm seeing. This is what I am seeing. Well, we can't see your, um, they don't let you show the meeting controls to people who are viewing. Oh, God knows what they could do if they saw those. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can request it. I don't know if I can. Um, no. Well, actually, you know, I'm what I am showing you, Ellen, is your 542 PM email. Okay. And this is it. Yes. And these are the attachments. So what else? That's what I was showing you. Um, I believe that uh, it looked like not the right file because I had gotten rid of the high, the blue highlights and okay. made corrections. That's all. Well, you can send me, you can email me another one quick, quick. Actually, Ellen, I just opened what you had sent out and it does include the blue highlight. It does? Did I send the wrong one? Could be. Is it, is it, is the or final? Maybe it's just the colorful version. What's that? <laughs> yeah, does it say 923? Right, does it, is the file name 923 at the end? Oh, I can check that again. No, what you sent at 543 says with LMS edits. Yeah, wrong one. So, Sorry. I think you sent both of them as the wrong one. Yeah, I sent the wrong one. Um, you know what? I what? usually find it helpful at this hour of the evening to have M&M's. <laughs> <Really? laughs> what a great idea. My daughter left me a little just, baggie of them in my car. <laughs> I'm just saying it really you know you need that little boost okay so can, Ellen can you quickly find the um attachments you want and email them to me and I'll just pop them right up yeah I'm gonna email them to you except that if I have to make any changes then I you know all right I'll just email them to you it's fine no you can open up your own yep 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 I don't have to tell you how to work a computer you could I can figure it out. You yeah. can tell me everything there is to know about working computers. Yes, that is true. <laughs> All right. My apologies, everybody. Um, so application process and eligibility, application eligibility. 
two files. Yeah, they were saved at 527 and 539 tonight. And then I sent out an email with the wrong file. So Paul, I'm just gonna send them to you. Okay. With no contacts, just two files. Sent? Yeah, they're right there. I see them on the screen. Oh, I was <laughs> reloading. This is it. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't see. Oh, there they. Okay. It's just not wide enough to see that there are attachments. Right. Okay. So we're doing process first. Yeah. Nope. It didn't That's say. The, the other one didn't say anything. Right, hold on a minute. Sorry. It says app. Oh, process again at the end. Not giving my screen enough space. Okay, this is it. Yeah. This Great. Is it. Thank you. Thanks so very much. So, uh, so sev several of you have had a chance to see this because this was sent out initially, um, I guess, maybe 10 days ago by Nancy and Ellen, who had created it. And in our meeting last Monday, we made a few minor tweaks on it, but- Right, I made some, just some minor edits and um, added the uh, selection criteria below all the explanations here. Do you wanna just roll down to that? Where, where do you want me to stop? Keep going. Keep so going. these are the public meetings right there. And then the next page is the selection criteria. Next mm -hmm. page. Oh, the next page of this, I see. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Three of three. Three of three. Good. Yeah. And it was just, you know, we had copied and pasted from a from an old PDF last week. And so I just took some liberties with it. To format it, you know. Right. These selection criteria, we had a bit of a discussion about this, but this is has been part of our grant application from you know year one. Um, we don't ask everybody to put to answer each question, but we want people to know these are the criteria by which we are judging. Um, and then highly conscientious applicants will try to, uh, in the full application, answer each question. But um, these are our, our, our guiding principles. So we have uh, two community meetings. If you roll back a little bit, we have two community meetings or public community meetings that have been scheduled. One, October 7th in advance of the eligibility application, which is due, if you go to the next page, Paul. Well, it's right there, uh, number one, the informational meeting, October 7th. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. There it is. And then, and then the, app, the actual applica eligibility application is due the 21st. Of November. The, of November. And then we invite people <laughs> to uh, make an application, which is then due, a full application is then due January 27th, 2025. So in here, is there any description of how uh, we plan to reply to their uh, eligibility application? says we'll introduce your proposal to the committee may request that you present your idea at a meeting how do they know if they should take the next step hmm. well let them know <laughs> them you email. have to send them a communication yeah right so that we have to put that in there right
Well, on number I three, it will. says if the committee agrees that your proposal is eligible, complete the grant application as soon as possible. In number three. So we okay. So then why don't we say that the committee will notify you by such and such a date um, whether your proposal is eligible? I mean, they may be, you know, may have submitted kind of a incomplete um, uh, description of what we all think is a good idea, but boy, they're far away from, you know, really meeting solid criteria. So we might want to give them some advice. Um, well, how about <clears throat> this? Under eligibility application after B, review is my project allowable on CPC. So we could either put it right there, we could add a C, um, or we could say a number three, grant application. Um, if the committee agrees that your proposal is eligible, you will be contacted and then complete a grant application. You will be contacted, the committee will, the committee will let you know. If the well, I think we should be specific, like con we will s contact you by email. Wouldn't we be, that's how we'd be doing it? Okay. Is that how we would yeah. be doing it? And then yeah. they can expect that's the way they're going to hear from us. If the committee agrees your proposal is eligible, we, they will contact you by email. And mm -hmm. you then may complete the grant application as soon as possible. Does that sound okay? Let's see if the committee I'm 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 revising the document on my end. If the committee agrees that your proposal is eligible, they will contact you by email. And, uh, and Paul wanted to have it by a certain date. Well, I so think I, we give them a, I think we ought to give them a um, yes or no within 10 days after the submission of the application. And well, I think Paul, we have to be able to do it in 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 line with our meeting schedule. Yeah. So right now we're scheduled to every meet every Monday. Which will include if the application is due November twenty first. Right. The first, the first meeting after that will be um, the twenty fifth. No. Right. And we thought we would do this on a rolling basis. As if we when we get them, we review them and we tell them. Right. Yep. Well, why don't we make it within a week of their submission? But our meetings might not line up to that. I just think we don't have to do that. We just, they hear when they hear. Because well, we can't promise something and if something right. happens, someone's away, we don't have a quorum. Yeah, right. I have to say, I just spent two hours in Boston, $35 million grant program listening to this. And in that case, they have an eligibility, they consult with people and they send an email. They don't tell you by when. So I'm, I'm kind of a little bit with, uh, with okay. the sentiment that Nancy's sharing with us. We so get how them on about, a rolling basis. How about if on we number three, them. we say grant application. If the committee agrees that your proposal is eligible, they will contact you by email. Complete the grant application as soon as possible. Deadline January 27th. Etc. Yep. So is that okay? Good. Yep. And is it they or it for the committee? Because the committee a representative. There we go. Thank you. That makes me feel better. So I'm actually wondering something else. The technically that doesn't tell them if we don't think it's eligible, we're not going right. to contact them. Ah, uh, uh, good court, right. How about I think, I think we should say right after grant application, the committee will notify you um, as to their decision um, by email, and then we'll the notify next you of their dis of its yeah. decision mm -hmm. by email. If your proposal is eligible, complete the grant application as soon as possible. But but before whatever the the, the deadline is the next sentence. Okay, before whatever that deadline is. Hang on, I'm getting it. I'm getting it all right now. Let's see if this is right. 
The committee will notify you of its decision by email. If your proposal is eligible, complete the grant application as soon as possible. Deadline January 27, 2025, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Sounds good. I'm gonna just save this as a, as a new version. Hang on. Okay. Um, Great, and this doesn't even get to the heart of the matter, which is the application. <laughs> So what is military time? Seven, seven o'clock is uh, 1900. Thank you. 1926. That's how I, I do version control with files that have the same um, date in the name. I add a tack on a military time. Thank you. I, I, yes, sir. Okay, so we got that, the grant application thing that okay. section three corrected. All right. Have we, do we have anything else on this process? Because then we can jump over to the application form itself. Do, um, there's a, a little explanation about town meeting approval. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to ask whether we should include details about bonded funding requiring two thirds, but my I'll answer my own question. No, we'll, whatever the town meeting needs is what the town meeting will insist on. So we don't have to go into that. Yeah. And yeah, and this is really just to, to introduce mainly to introduce the two part grant process, Paul. Yeah, okay. So there'll be another application. Okay. Okay. So let's go on, please, to yeah. the form itself. Okay. So there's. So there was another. This? You can just close this down and. um. Okay. So the, we don't have to do anything here. This is a summary or something. Okay. Great. It's three pages. There's yeah. got the dates on it, and then I've got the talent, the the our selection criteria on page three. Okay. So now open up the the next file that I just sent you, the application form. Yes, that one. So this I modified based on feedback that we provided, and we you know we all reviewed this last week, and so this is the um, eligibility application form, the new form. Mm -hmm. And the goal yep. after, we, we'll review it in a second, but um, the goal would be that this would be a fillable PDF and then we just have to decide who it gets sent to. And I, that was something on the bottom there. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Don't worry. Okay. You'll start from the beginning. So this takes into account, I believe it takes into account all the feedback that was provided at last week's meeting. Yeah, I was wondering whether um, we should have, uh, is this really the applicant? This is a person this is who the might eligibility. Be... Say what? Yeah, this is this is the eligibility form. This will, right, right. With this, we need enough information so we can evaluate whether this grant application meets both CPA eligibility and the Hans selection criteria. Okay. All right. All right. As long as I know the difference between the applicant and the organization, an applicant is a well, person, sometimes... right? Yeah. The applicant is a person. All right. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's move down to wherever you want to go next. Well, just take, yeah. I mean, it's this, it's supposed to be a very simple form. Okay. Right? You get a description. Um, how does it meet the category criteria? How, what is the description of the project? Project? How much do you think it's going to cost? And okay. um, I, I thought when I read it, and I wasn't at the meeting, so I didn't submit my comments until afterwards, that the most sensible thing is to first to describe what they want to do, and then to describe how that meets CPA category criteria. So I would just flip these you two. Would flip them. The reason I put it there is because it's right after the categories. Okay. But I, I'll do whatever people want to do. I don't really. No, I, I like the I way it is. Looking at the page, they can figure it out. 
Okay, mm -hmm. fine. All right. So <laughs> we, we, let's move on. If it doesn't meet the criteria and they can't explain it, then they should stop. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, so, so Paul, you, what you have to think about is what we experienced last year. Oh yes, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Right. All in context. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Ellen, you're starting with uh, what they want from CPC. It a little unclear to me. Total project cost are the sources and amounts of of are in kind services going to go into the total project cost. So yes. Yes. is that what you're anticipating? And there's a couple yes. of those I see here. Like that should say of in-kind serve or oh, wait of match or oh no, never mind. It's right. Sorry. Okay. So right. you got you you should really have three figures here. Well, I two of them I, should add up to the third one. Right. I did it this way because when I when I so Lynn had provided this edition last week. And the reason I added two lines as opposed to a $1 amount and a line was because what if there's, you know, somebody providing labor, somebody pro providing legal services. So I thought right. a couple of lines is better for them to explain it and just have that be a text box. Yeah, but I, I just want to know how they're going to figure out what the total project cost is. Are they going to assign dollar figures to those in-kind services or not? Probably. Yeah, they, 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 they yeah. do. And that's they exactly should. what we got with the Little League lighting. Exactly. And can I, do you all mind if I put anticipated total project cost before total project anticipated? Oh, it's like, sure. is that okay? Okay. Sure, anticipated sure. total project cost. And I noticed some colons above that aren't consistent. So I want to fix them. All right. Well, I would make this a dollar figure. You can't really add words to dollars to get, you know. But dollars. then how do you put in sources? I, I would just put this. This will be a total for the in kind. And this will be the details of sources and um, amounts underneath it. So, um. So what should the title of the row be? Well, this will be, uh, I would do it this way. I would do CPC funding request, uh, other and uh, other uh, sources, <clears throat> um, and then total project cost. Okay, and would you and do- next to total next to other sources have an asterisk and down here you have asterisk you know, please list the sources uh, and amounts of um, match or in-kind services. And then they can just list, they can just string them together one after the next. Hang on, I got to open up this form. It's not, um, I want um, to draft. Okay, so eligibility draft, okay. just uh save this again so it's uh 1927 is good enough okay so no changes to anything above except for some colons which i'll fix so you're saying anticipated cpc funding request right and then what's the next line called yeah there would be um additional sources of funding additional right additional funding or, or non-cpc funding non-CPC funding? Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. And then put an asterisk after it and then invite them to list things down here. And so then, then what should I say? What should we call that? Sources and amounts? Uh, what, yeah, please list the amount. Um, please list the source. Is an amount of, other, of additional. Of non-CPC funds. funds or in-kind services. You know, I do wonder if we're getting, uh, you know, upon reflection, if this application is getting too specific. 
Well, it is just because again, the we we put in the dollar. That's a good point, Lynn, because we put in the dollars just so we would have a sense of right. Is it are they are they going to be asking for five million dollars or you know five thousand dollars? <laughs> well, like, but that's what Nancy and I had this discussion. Yeah, sure. So we included yeah. it just so you know we could get a sense of scale and whether or not it was even appropriate. But again, the point of this application is just for us to see whether or not their project idea is eligible for funding, not yeah, I, all the details. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that I, being I said, that. what is your proposal, Lynn? Well, you know, maybe what we should just do is say anticipated CBC funding request and tell us if you, you know, I That's don't know. It. Yeah, and leave it, you could leave it at that. Okay. You could leave it at that. You really right. could. Yeah, yep. I, think, yep. I think you're I right. agree. I agree. Oh. Got it. Done. I, I wanted, I do want this to invite people to sort of be creative and get things out, but right. at the same time, um, you know, we have a limited amount of funding. And right. And this is, this isn't yeah. the application itself. This is just yeah. the eligibility. Yeah. Just are you eligible to continue? Right. Okay. So I've yeah, taken so that out. That's way, great. I just take it out. I took it out. Um, and then Paul, could you scroll down a little bit more? I want to just show people what I deleted from the last time. This stuff here in yellow, you scroll down. There was just a section yeah. on there where I thought maybe we would check things off, but we're going to respond to people by email and i don't think we want to go through the trouble of like trying to save a checkbox on a pdf and deal with that stuff so i'm recommending my proposal is we take that stuff out yeah i think that's a good idea i agree that our minutes will reflect this data right and so it just mm -hmm. felt like um duplication of effort that we didn't need to do okay so i'm going to remove that now I wanted to explain mm -hmm. to Paul yeah. that, that that we anticipate more than just a yes no answer to people that we would also give them advice you know in other ways if we see that would be necessary so just yeah. we're letting you know our thinking last week yeah I agree so I fixed the colons I made the edits um, I've now got a final word form. And so what I was going to plan to do was I, I started creating a fillable PDF and then I was like, but I know something's going to change tonight. So I stopped. Right. Cause that's a, <laughs> cause I knew that I have to do all that work again. <laughs> that's a big deal. Right. So I didn't want to do you. that. Um, so if, if we have basic approval and if I just need to just check and see if there's any minor formatting. I can go ahead and get this done. I do think we, and, and I can create a fillable form and I can send it out to the group just if anybody wants to give it a quick look-see before we put it on the website. But we need to decide how who it's gonna get distributed to and maybe put that on here as well. Like, please email to who- Or who to return it to. Right, exactly. How well, are they gonna, who are they gonna send it to? So in the past, we've been, having things go through well I, I shouldn't say tell me what happened last year before that they would go through to Kristen at town hall right before that I went to Kristen last year Nancy and I were the receivers of the applications right I think Kristen might have gotten a copy as well but I'm not sure probably um, she probably had to if you remember at least I think I remember there were times when we couldn't access her right. and we ran into trouble, which is why we switched it to us. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well then let me ask you, who would be willing to step forward to receive this? Well, it has to be more than one person given how I had an accident yeah. in January. Right, I mean, and it's okay to, for me, if it's okay with you, Ellen, that we just get them and then distribute them. Okay. So but, if but, it goes to both of you? But, yeah. Okay, so, but here's, we need an email. You want to put our personal, I think, 
I think I would request the town to create an, e you know, an email address for us. That you can access. Hey, Alan, it's, this is Tony. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yes. So the, the, you could create a free, you know, separate email account, like on Gmail or Yahoo. Okay. Uh, that you all have a password to or something like that. Okay, we could do that. And we can have it be sent to that. Okay. The, I didn't, uh, yeah, if that's unfortunately, okay, we... the, the Microsoft, you know, the at and hot.org accounts, yeah. yeah, they aren't cheap. They're like 15 bucks a month or something like that per right. account or something. Right, okay. Okay. But if, I guess... I mean, I guess theoretically, if CPC wanted to do that, I know there's administrative funds in the account. No, it's not that big of a deal, Tony. Honestly, it's it's truly it's truly yeah. not worth it. Um, as long as you're okay with us putting a Gmail account on here. Yeah, I think it. Or even if you have it, so so this would get sent to that Gmail. Yeah, create a. Naha cpc at gmail.com or at yahoo.com, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I would do Gmail. That would be, mm -hmm. That'd be good. So actually, then all of the whole committee could access that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good, actually. Okay. Can everybody on the committee send out emails from that account? No, we... We would only have one email going out from that account. I mean, right. I but think, anybody, if you can access the email, then you can send out an email too. Right. But we would want to have our, we would only have one person be responding to our discussion back to that person. Is that what you're asking, Paul? No. How many <laughs> of all the people, who's going to respond to the person? Is it going to be the same person every? same CPC member every time or not? Well, that's part of the process we hadn't figured out. This is, this is where we, where, this is where I, Nancy and I knew we had to get to, but we had to create the forms and the process first. Yeah. Okay. So this is exactly where we need to be just right. This is, this is it. We have to make these decisions. We don't have answers yet. Who's talking? Sorry, that might be my son in the background. I'll, I'll go on mute. Oh, okay. No, no, we love hearing Rocco. What's he talking about anyway? <laughs> Lynn, back to work. Uh, so, so, all right. So, I'm hearing we can get emails sent to our brand new Gmail account. And I guess what I'm hearing is only one person would have the ability to respond to Gmail to to emails from that account. We would all have the ability to respond, but the proper thing to do would be to to you know put a policy in place so that we have rules about right. who should respond. Right. right, one person respond. Okay, yeah, or and, or a backup, and, right? So, right, like if and I think it should be. A backup. I mean, it should be a two-person kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. Like for the reason you outlined earlier. So I'm looking for volunteers. <laughs> I, I want two people, please, to step forward. Well, I'm going to volunteer Ellen and Nancy. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I'd hear that. <laughs> That's excellent. She Thank just you. gave me a really... Uh, are you okay with that, Nancy? Totally. Fine. Okay. <laughs> I was like, so you, two are, you two are really good at this. We're, we're really, we're <laughs> right behind you on it. Um, okay, so, okay, we're making progress here. What I would be looking for, though, is a motion to accept this process and this form with the, you know, the, the contact information that we just laid out. Yeah. So we can actually move on this and get this out into the air. Do we have to look it over as uh, Ellen has amended it? 
I'll make a motion that we accept both documents as amended. I Thank second. <laughs> if I can. Yep. I have confidence in this team. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm willing to accept that Ellen was it was uh, industriously uh, making these edits as we were talking. Yeah, and, I um, did. Though, that'd be acceptable. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> with that in mind, I'm going to to ask for a roll call vote on this. Yeah. Um, all in favor of accepting as they have been amended. Paul. Aye. Nancy? Aye. Ellen? Aye. Austin? Aye. Sarah votes aye. All okay. in. Got it. Okay. So the second thing is that the other part of it that we've got kind of it queued up is Kristen being prepared to receive these tomorrow get them onto the town website. Um, Tomorrow? And then, mm -hmm. Okay. If you can do that. Yeah, I just still have to create the form. Remember, I have to convert it to a PDF. That's yeah. All. I'll try. And I still have to create the He's email totally address. totally ignorant of, how, of what it takes to make, to make these fillable PDFs. I, forgive me. I. Yeah, no, that's okay. I just... I got to get the email address and I got to get the, put the email address, you know, like when this is complete, send to nahantcpc at gmail.com. Right, so right. It, it might not be instantaneous is all I'm saying. Right. There's a few things. I, I understand that, but I would really like to get this out by the middle of the week if yeah. we can do this because okay. Kristen has to get it onto the website and then she's doing a distribution to the town yeah. committee. Right, right, right. Um, to what committee, Lynn? The town committees. All the town committees. All the town committees. Got it. Yeah. This is how we've done it in the past, Paul. Yep. Um, she'll get it into the Lynn item, and then I will do the distribution to the nonprofit. Um, we also had a discussion about using other social media stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. Like like yep. the not web page or that kind of stuff. Well, the website is one thing. I don't know what other. I guess there's a social media. But I think um, Tony told us there was a Nahant something connected to the town. I mean, that was when Michelle and Tony were both on yeah. that. We have a we have a Facebook page. Uh, we've created an Instagram page, and we're still working on figuring out uh, X or Twitter, but we can put the put it out on the other two. How about TikTok? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. With it, Tony. I don't know anything about that. So should we? Who owns X at this point? Who owns X at this point? Is it Sorry, Musk? I couldn't hear you. If it's Musk, he, I don't he, want to be on it. Musk owns it, yeah. I don't want to be on that. <laughs> what an idiot. So it, should we just ask Kristen, besides the town committees, could she do yeah. those other places, Tony? Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll just yeah. request once it's, once it's on the website, then we use that link on the social media pages to direct people to the website. Oh, okay, good. So nahantcpc at gmail.com is already taken. Wow. What I wonder is if I did that way back when, did we share files or was that the green community? That might have been the green community. I don't think. Let me check and see if I did this years ago. Because like what else, who else would have done it? Right. What did you call it? nahantcpc at gmail.com it exists already i can't get the name 
Oh, call it the Han CPC project. The Han CPC Gmail account. Oh my God, I did. <laughs> so do you have the password? <laughs> I do. Okay. When did I do this? I did this in March, 2021. <laughs> so we're all set up. Well, let me uh, go try and Make log sure in. Make sure it works. Yeah, I'm going to go try and log in. That was funny. And Good those work, the fillable. Now I hear always you think so far ahead. You're yeah. That, that's them. really far ahead. Okay. <laughs> that's really. I don't that's know. If, I don't know if it's possible or not, but we might be able to the fillable forms that people fill out on the website that were being automatically sent to Alan and Nancy in the past. We might be able to add that email account. As well. well, I think that they're just for they're just forwarding to our personal emails. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's not. But the, the only other thing like, yeah, you're going to email the non CPC. That's funny. Um, I had uh, if if you guys were based on the Gmail or the Google platform, you could potentially create a group, uh, you know, and then add email addresses to it. But I, I'm fine with the non CPC, assuming I can get the email. Let's see. Um, you're signed in. Okay. Um, security alert. All right. Uh, you gonna email me, Paul? I did. Okay. I did not get it yet. No. It take a few minutes. That's it. That's what I said. I'm looking at my screen, not yours. Uh, on cpc at gmail.com, right? Right. Um, yeah, that's right. There it is. Okay. It works. Wow. <laughs> this is live. This is. You know, it's like better than being at the movies, honestly. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm laughing that I created this three and a half years ago and forgot, but I had the password in my I, password file. Yep. Okay. I'm I'm grateful. Very grateful. <laughs> like, well, all right. So 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 it looks like we we're rolling. Tony, we're so very glad that you are able to join us tonight. Um, I, I was in touch with Kristen earlier today, and, you know, once Ellen um, is able to work on the fillable form and the, the process, we'll get that along to Kristen and get this out into the ether. Um, Paul, in terms of October 7th, that's a Monday. We already had that set aside, so would, the, would our sort of um, meeting link, our Zoom meeting link, be the one that we would use for that community meeting. Do you mind doing that? I, I don't. I don't but see. But we need to provide it to Kristen. So she I don't really see the problem able. with it. I I would keep the same login, the same link, and meeting number and password and all that. Sure, we have public meetings. So, but we can't restrict anybody from coming to one of our regular meetings so what why bother no we do, we we want people to come but yeah. it's interesting you can't go to the community calendar and tap on to that link yeah what happens did it work doesn't work it doesn't I, work I, tony no. how come it doesn't work what are you talking about know. what doesn't work Lynn said it's just the not link. a clickable link. You have to copy the link. And I couldn't tap in on the 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 uh, the link that was showing there. It, it, it's not active. Why is that? It shows. It should be. I don't know. Well, I I got it from the calendar. I just selected it and right clicked and opened a new tab. I don't know why. Well, exactly, but most people may but not. But Tony's know trying to, to explain, that. guys. Uh. Paul, when you when you put when you submit them into the website, yeah, there's a little like hyperlink or chain link logo. Uh -huh. Um, just highlight it and click that, and make sure that it's in there as well. 
Okay. But usually it does it automatically. I, I'm not sure why it happens with, it, it seems to be unique to CPC. The other, like when I do the board of select <laughs> one, it, it, it pops right in. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, the, the uh, town clerk is the one who takes the submission and turns it into a community calendar uh, item. So <clears throat> I think we should ask her to make sure that it's done right. And I can show you. Uh, well, I've already do done it. it and I can't do it again without any. Yeah. And that's a that's a potential catastrophe. OK. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll. I'll I'll talk to them about that out. <clears throat> and then just show it to me. Yeah, that, that would be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, I want to go on to other business for tonight. Yes. Um, before we do, could I? Um, there's, um, I want to know how to communicate with Kristen about the website because there's some other changes I think we need to make right now. So it still had, and by the way, is it the, it's, so is it the 2025 fiscal application that we're looking at or is that one? It's fiscal year 2026. So it's 2026 because it'll be approved in 2025 for the 26 fiscal year, right? Right. Okay. So then they're just, if you look at the Nahant website and go to community preservation, all the applications from last year are still up there. If you click, if you go yeah. to the thing that says forms and projects or whatever it's called, forms and mm -hmm. yeah. right. So then you go the project submission and forms, all of the applications from last year are on here. So should they be taken down? Yeah. We yeah. usually do that. We usually do that over the next like couple months, but we can do it sooner. Yeah. Okay. Probably should. Because because we're going to the reason I say this is because so now you go to the community preservation, we've got the mission, project submission and forms. So like where should we put the new application process and the new eligibility application? That's like I need to, you know, it's not like I have my own website where I can organize these things myself. I have to do it within, you know, your structure. So well, you know, well we'll put it where they were last year. We'll remove the old ones and put the new ones. Okay, so where it says project submission and forms, yeah. That'll be that'll be the the eligibility application will go there. Yeah. As well as, well as the mm -hmm. formal application. And the and the formal application is online. It's a it's a form that we they fill out online, but the this if, uh, it it might be helpful too if someone could you know, I'm happy to do it, but it might be better to come from someone from the committee is to draft like just a little narrative saying, you know, starting this year, it's a two part process. Oh, well, so you missed the but, whole but that's what that process thing is about. Yeah, you missed the that's whole first part where we went through the narrative. We have a new document that outlines all that that we want to put on the website. Oh, I, so I we just can, don't know where we can we if you send that if you send that narrative as a word document we yep. can take that language and put it right on the page so it's you know okay. it's right there when people click on the CPC page and then the links to the each forms we can kind of put them so you'll figure it out if I as part it. of that narrative okay so yeah we just finalized the narrative at this meeting before you got on I guess and um. Then we worked on the form. Yep. So I'm I've got the committee's approval to finalize all that stuff with my updates, and I'll give it a quick look over. I'll send it to you and Kristen, and I'll CC the committee. Okay. And we can. You I'm can, sending her uh, an email right now too. Okay. Okay, and you'll help figure out where it should go and organize it properly. Right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay, which does lead me gently, but I don't want to, to sort of dig into it tonight, but it leads me gently to the full application, which is the other part of what we need to actually refine. Um, Ellen, you, last meeting, you were very kind in saying, yep, you had kept some notes about what was working and not working so well on it last year. 
um, I, I feel like I could be on shaky ground by saying, oh, yeah, well, why don't we just go ahead and, re you know, revise that form and add one more thing on your list of things to do. And I'm not going to do that right now. I appreciate that, Lynn. Fun. I appreciate that, Lynn. And <laughs> Paul, we're still seeing your email, just so you know. Yeah. Do you want to read any of them? No. Okay. Oh, uh, they're interesting. Yeah. I would like to. <laughs> um, when we were just looking at the uh, CPC site on the Nahat page, uh, okay. there is a link yeah. there for an email address that's cpc at nahat.org under the committee members. Okay, I'll get that. So if that that is up there, then we have a CPC at hot.org email account. And all we would want to do is update, you know, who that email account gets forwarded to. So we would just need all of your emails. Which I, I'm, I'm probably, we probably do have them all. Okay, where do we go from here? This is right, the but the question we can't, we can't, that's probably just a group with an alias. It's not something yeah. that we can access to send mail. Right, right. So, and then, I mean, we could respond from our individual accounts or we could respond from. Go to uh, committees and boards on the left. And then, yep, up, up to. Two, Two more. Up. Unity, yeah, there. Okay, so I see agendas and minutes. Oh, down here, you got to go project submission and forms. This one? Yeah, or it's either there or in the no, main. No, 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 no. So it's on the right hand off. side under Lynn Spencer, it's a CPC at nahant.org. I don't know if that's just a group or if there is an existing yeah. email address. I don't know what that is. But I mean, this, this, the title, this, this is archetypal of this web page, of this website. Titles and things under them don't apply to one another. This yeah. says agendas and minutes. Yeah, we can we can update, fix that title of yeah. that easily. I mean, this should be in a separate box by itself. It's here. I, I you know, we should it should be bold because this is what people are looking for. So it should hit them in the eye. OK, yeah. so if we do that. So these were last year's. Yes. yes, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, so this isn't the this isn't the way to get into it and do it for this year. No, but this scroll is, down. Yes. Scroll all the way down. And yeah. there you see that 25 CPC grant application. If you click on that, it gets you to the online form. I'm sorry, I don't see that, Ellen. Oh, it's here? in red. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, things, things that people look for have to stand out. Okay, but... I think I think we get this the intent, by the okay. way. I, I'm not sure we need to actually grind into this. I think between Alan and Tony, because Tony, you are taking on the one the, the cleaning up of this with Kristen. Um, I think we would ask you to sort of go in, clear out the old application, try to make this as clear as possible. Um, yep. I have a question. So if no one is using CBC at nahant.org and we're paying 15 bucks a month for it, why don't we just ditch it? They're probably not paying for that. That's probably an alias. No, we're 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 definitely paying for that one. You're not, paying for that one? Okay. Yeah. So we just don't know who it goes to. <laughs> it probably anyway. just forwards it probably just forwards to all of you. But you can't, like you said, you know, for you to respond, you'd have to respond from your personal email. Uh huh. So why don't we just um, get rid of that one and use the one that we're setting up for all of us through the Gmail, and not cost anything? Um, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, there, I'm that's sure, good. I'm sure there is a way to log in to that. I'm sure there's a way to log in to that dot uh, org email account so that you can respond to it respond from it i'm sorry okay well I don't how about know. if we don't want to i just <laughs> I, I, I just I mean, sent an email out to see where it would go <laughs> i don't know where it went all right so, I, I mean, think this, we had just decided we've got a gmail account i'd like to suggest i'd like to propose 
that we ditch whatever is real or the alias that's on the screen because it's not functioning. Yeah. Right. Anyone? Yeah, totally agree. Okay. I think Tony, you, you that's fine, but you should have, you should have, you know, some sort of policy on, you know, how, how that Gmail account is used. You know, you obviously don't want to be putting it into promotions on, you know, target.com and stuff like that. It's, you want to make sure it's limited to the business of the committee, you know? I'm not sure we need to even put it here because we want to be using it for our application and it goes in the body of the, the application or the approval form and stuff. Can't we, wouldn't that limit the purpose of it? It would seem so. I'm not sure if I understand the question. Well, but... we, we um, if we just had it, uh, in our application so that only people saw it were people who were doing applications and that was what it would be used for. Yeah. Oh, and not put it on the website at all. Right. Um, yeah, that could be done. We can also add the Naha CPC at gmail.com to the, you know, the, what the uh, cpc at nahat.org gets forwarded to that's a good idea so that way any, if anybody anybody emails cpc at nahat.org it'll get forwarded to your personals it'll also get forwarded to the nahat cpc at gmail.com and then on the on your application you'll have the gmail yeah okay so i as long as you're okay with us using a gmail for town for for this business I'm glad you're here. So as long as you're okay with it, we can, um, I'll put the Gmail account on the PDF. Yep. One thing I do want to say though, I don't want any of us to be um, belabored, assaulted by, you know, emails that we have to be responding to every day about CPA in the hot, which I saw last year. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should restrict this account to uh, submission of uh, this. It's, where is this application, this preliminary application going? Isn't it going to this account, right? Yeah, the that's, Gmail. that's the whole point. Of this that's discussion. the whole point. That's where we started. So why don't we make it? Uh, why don't we actually do an account that says Nahan CPC uh, preliminary app, and that's all it gets used for. That makes sense to me. Another email like another Gmail account? Yeah. Called Nahant CPC preliminary. Preliminary. No, no, no. Our, we have one let's just use one account. Let's use the Gmail account. We receive grant applications in that Gmail account. The and person who is yeah. the two people who are administering it or receiving those applications can then distribute those applications to the committee members. I was simply making a comment that I really am not interested in having a lot of dialogue about, you know, community preservation business on that account. Yeah, other than I agree receiving with you. Applications. Yep, I agree with you. Okay, so, so we, so we, you think we can leave the name as it is and just ex use it exclusively for that. That's right. And, so, and what is posted on that on the email on the website is something that is more abundant. It hasn't been used. Right. So it, it, it literally has not been used, to my knowledge. Right. So, all right. <laughs> I want to go on to, to saying that we will need to actually tune up the full application 
We're not going to do that tonight, um, and, I, and I want to sort of move this meeting along. But I, I do want to share with you, Paul, and, and Austin, what I shared with um, Ellen, Dave, and Nancy last week. And I, if you had a chance to read the minutes from last week, you will have seen this. But our distribution for fiscal year 25 is going to be less than what we had predicted. And we need to actually also understand that our that this sort of lesser distribution from the state is very likely, in all likelihood, to have an impact on what kind of in income we can expect for fiscal year 26. So, Lynn, what was the so, shortfall? So, the, the major reason for the shortfall is, well, the short story, Paul, is that if we get 30% for fiscal year 25, that's, that's likely, but we shouldn't count on it. The first distribution of our 3% was for 14.5%, and that came out, I think, that, that hasn't come, but it's coming soon. And we are a 3% community, so we'll get three different distributions. So if all three are at 14%, you know, we'll get, you know, up to 40% match. We had, we had budgeted 50% match. Um, but what has happened is that, first of all, real estate transactions are a little bit slower. But right. the main factor is that the state legislature did not approve an infusion of, of additional funds. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're, we're right. more... Right. No, I, I was just wondering what the uh, the bottom line figure is. How much less money do we have than we thought we were going to have? Well, if we are looking at 30% um, instead of the 445% that we were thinking of, we could be at $377,000. So the fact that one of our articles did not get did not go to town meeting is a benefit to us so you know we we actually will be drawing on the general reserve for some amount um to cover us if we come in at the 30 percent Instead of having a general reserve of $124,000 or $125,000, we will be closer to having a general reserve of $90,000. So you're talking mm -hmm. about more about uh, somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars from the general fund, general reserve. Yes, we'll be. Yes, we will be actually drawing. Um, well, it'll be a little bit different, but we'll be drawing, yeah, we'll be drawing from the general fund about $40,000. Okay. So we have a number of projects that haven't moved. <laughs> and so, you know, I think what we really, and we saw this with our first review with um, Tony in the early part of September. So I think we'll be watching this carefully. Um, we always have to keep in mind that we have uh, pre-existing approved bonds, and those bonds close total close to $150,000. So, so they get first priority. They get priority. Yeah. They are obligated. So yeah, we'll be watching this very closely. Uh, Lynn, are we, or maybe not we, not the CPC so much as the town, but if the town meeting approves a CPC allocation and a project is approved, who decides um, whether 
uh, it's first come first serve for the available money or um, whether there's some sort of reallocation process. Yeah, approved projects are already approved, Paul. The money is set aside for them. I so see. We have, we have many, many projects that have been approved. We probably have, apart from last year, where we approved $445,000 of grants or obligations, um, excluding that housing article, uh, we probably have, you know, two or three hundred thousand dollars from previous grants that have already been been awarded, and that money is set aside from our funds for the, that purpose. So this does it. The, the only effect on us right now is that we'll have less reserves than we had hoped for, and we'd like to keep a reserve. Um, but it means that in the coming year. I think we have to make an assumption for less than 50% match from the state. Okay. Uh, I, I don't mean to, to be stupid about this, but I'm confused. Um, are you saying that the funds we allocated and the town meeting approved for fiscal year 25 are safe as they are and funded as they are? Yes. So you're just talking about what we need to look forward to for fiscal year 26. That's right. I'm saying that we have less of a general reserve than we had anticipated. Oh, okay. Then we'd already, and, right. And but that, okay, fine. Right. We always, and then, do. it's just that we've been getting good news for so long that we forgot that sometimes you can get bad news. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, if I look at our record of state match, on average, it's it's seventy six percent. Oh, right, exactly, right. Okay. So, so you know, but we have we, and I mean, the entire state has enjoyed the fact that the legislature in past in re, the recent past has been adding monies to the fund. Right. Right. Um, this year, they declined to do that. Right. So we are, you know, we we are we remain optimistic about the benefits of community preservation for the town of Nahat, which has been huge and significant. <laughs> but we're just going to have to be cautious mm -hmm. about um, applications. Okay. Okay. Yep. So with that. Is there, are there any other topics that meeting the members wish to bring up? So do we need to meet next week, the 30th? That's a good question. I am not sure that we do need to. I mean, well, when are we going to start reviewing the online application? I would love to do it on the on the on that date, but I I um. Yeah, I, you, I, I think it's safer for us to start diving into the online application, so we kind of know where we're going for that. Uh, open meeting on October 7th. November. So, October 7th? So what, October 6th. Didn't you say the October, open meeting is October, October 7th, a public meeting? Public meeting October 7th, right? Wait. Right. Okay. Well, if, if we could, I would like to, to meet on the 30th to review the full application. I was referring to Ellen a little bit on that. I feel like we're loading her. Well, so next week we would review it and decide what changes we want to make together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can do that next week. I mean, I wouldn't have it done beforehand. I oh, would, no, no, no. We need feedback. And I, and I, we could start with my notes from last year. So everybody gets a refresher. Yeah. Is it? That would, that would be. 
Right. Is it possible to um, send your notes, Ellen, so we could start reviewing them in advance? If not, we'll wait until you. I can send, send them, them, but I, you, you know, they're notes. They're not like. Uh, yeah. Right. They're not. It's not like a, a nice document. They're Ellen's notes. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'll send them if you want to see them. I'll share. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I'd find it useful. Maybe might start thinking about something. I don't know how much I'll do, but okay. if, if you're going to find them anyway, yeah, 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 may as well send them. Uh, and then, where on this form, uh, excuse me, on the on the CPC web page, can I find the application as it currently stands, or do you go to the project submissions and forms, and then scroll down, and you see this the FY twenty twenty five um application that's here it. it is yeah that's it okay so here's the application yeah okay. that's where it is save and continue later oh i see next right. all right all right so each next is a page correct we had it's like four tabs on the form but 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 i i'm i'm kind of done i can't look at this right now yeah, I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we I think I'm I'm trying to really move this new meeting to a motion to adjourn. Before before you do, can I can I just borrow you guys for five more minutes? Sure. Okay. Clock is time clock is go running. Can you uh click the share button, Paul, and and allow multiple users to share their screen? I don't know if I can. I tried that before, it didn't work. Maybe well, Tony can click on it. Multiple participants can share simultaneously. That's mm -hmm. what I was looking for, Ellen, and I didn't recognize it. Okay. So I just did that, Tony. Okay. Uh, this is a picture of the CPA sign that is used in Concord. Nice. And we use we use this oh, as an example you. that we sent over to the sign shop. Um what we picked out was a, a green sign with white lettering that's recessed. Uh, wow. And let me just pull up. I'm still seeing the Yeah, I'm only seeing Paul's screen still. Just... Oh, sorry. Uh, what do I have to do? I have to stop share, I guess. Probably, yeah. Uh... Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I have to. I can do that. Um, no, it's saying share. Um, dear me, what do I do? Uh, somebody help me here. I have no idea what to do. What are you trying to do? Get off. Get off so Tony can share his uh, screen. We're seeing the application. I'm seeing the. I'm seeing the the sign. The CPA community. Here, let me hit stop share. And then Paul, see if you. Uh, I was seeing that. Can, can you hit stop it. share now, Paul? Um, no, I don't have a stop share option here. I don't know where the hell it is. I don't see stop share. Sorry. If you click on my name and the three dots on it, uh, you can say make host. Okay, Tony. Okay, and that's not giving me that. It doesn't give me an, it doesn't give me a, wait, hold it. Tony, I was driving around uh, last week and saw a, in, I was in Belmont, I guess. I was just looking at the GPS location of my photo and there was like a, a sign out there. It's like, your CPA funds at work. So I snapped a quick picture. That's of a it. good one. Yeah, before, you know, before. As I was driving, I was like, oh, wait, look, click. But it's not as nice as what you just showed us. It's like one of those like realtor type signs with the metal stakes, you know? Yeah, I like this is a little bit more. Yours is nicer. Tony, you're the host. Yeah. This is better sign. yeah. Can you see that now, Austin? And yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's classy. I can't see anything. All right. I saw it before. <laughs> uh, so it's, it. you know, you'd have this seal at the top um 
and I'll just kind of show you quickly. You know, this is the application. So it's it's a routed sign. You know, this it's is routed. The, yeah, it's uh it's like a uh an epoxy sign with multiple layers. Um so are, are you thinking of something that's permanent or simply permanent? You okay. So, it's, uh, so the concrete sign is not routed. That's just an applied. Yeah, this sign. doesn't look like the concrete sign. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know where they ordered theirs from, but I use it as an example of like the shape and the look that we would want to try to accomplish with this. Uh, so it, you know, it's like I said, it's like a green with a white um, underlayer. So as you route through the green, the white, the white would pop through. We looked at 18 by 24 signs. This is the sign, the shape that was closest to what we were looking at with the Concord sign. Sent in our logo. Um, we looked at a dado mount, double post. Uh, we thought it'd be better to be a little bit lower, like at a four foot level. And this is the top of the post finish here is that we selected. And then the sign quote we got. Wow. Uh, for, so this is for five signs. It comes in at 4,700. Oh. Is there an economy of scale to be had here if we do 30? Well, I thought no. you'd start kind of start slow, you know, <laughs> start small. Um, I mean they're yeah, expensive what, because sorry, I think they're the yeah. What's the size of this sign? It's 24 um, by that's a very large sign. That's too much. And this is permanent? Yes. And this is our planning board is going to love this. He said, <laughs> physically. Our planning board? Our planning board, who has resisted us on sign up and down. <laughs> yeah, when we know. did the sign at the last station, we had to do it under a special permit. Yeah. I mean, I don't so, think the you know, town has to go through that process. process. It's one thing to have a sign that's up during the, the duration of the, the actual grant project. It's another thing to have a sign up permanently. I thought we were always looking into having some sort of permanent marker at the at, at these sites to show that they, you know, for years to come that the, you know, the project was supported by CPC. I I don't think we have gotten to quite that. Point. I don't recall that conversation. Well, you you're the chair. It's your call. I just did the research. I think it's great to do the research, and I think these would be appropriate during the duration. But I really think we'd have to think very hard about a sign. I'm doing it like this. It's a sign that this big, this big. It's on two stakes and it's there permanently. So that'd be at the public library, the town hall, the village church, uh, the, the flash road is, uh, recreation area, um, life saving station, a bunch of places. You know, what I've seen in other communities, Tony, is that we've got a sign like this during the duration of the project. But then what happens is a bronze plaque. And in Boston, and I'm holding it up right now, if you can see it, in Boston, it's quite small. And that that actually gets affixed to the the building or site in some way. So I think there's a lot for us to think about here. 
Um, and I really appreciate what you've done on the research and thinking this through. Can you send that out to? Uh, can you send that the, the, this out to me so I can actually then share it with the committee? I have. It's in your email. Um, let me see. I can hit resend. Okay. Was this? Did this come out today? No, uh, I was before the last uh, September 11th. I'll send it again to you right now. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry I missed this, Tony. It's really good research. Um, I, I don't mind a small, I, I don't, I don't really mind a smaller sign either. Um, you know, I, I, I like something now, permanent, Tony. though. I do like something permanent. You know, I think that, I think it gives a lot of, it, it helps people, you know, not forget that, you know, all the good work that the CPC do, like contributes to around town. And if it was something that kind of was unique to just CPC, it didn't look like another, you know, standard sign, then people would see it and say, oh, oh, okay, this is a CPC project, you know. Mm. Yep. Um, I, I was being a little bit sarcastic about the planning board, but tell me what your thoughts are on the planning board with regard to this. I don't think the planning board has oversight on town signage and ta on town property. Well, they do on private. <laughs> and we have funded if, things. If I was putting the, that, size, that size signage is doesn't you know what that that side sign isn't uh doesn't go beyond what the town zoning says either so i guess i have concerns about the size of the sign and the many places that it would have to go um maybe i something. actually you know the you know the sign that's in the island across from the uh um Life saving station that you know says that the island is you know manicured by the garden club. You ever see mm -hmm. that? It's a smaller green. Yeah. It's I like you know that was like what I was trying to capture something like that. Okay. Well, we'll Next look time at you that. Drive by there, take a look. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tony. I I've got the email. Um. It when of these various things, which is the one that would actually show the example for Nahant? Has that been mocked up? Uh, no, it's basically I, I sent that Concord one over as a uh, example, and then on the yeah. form that I gave them, I wrote in the language, and then I sent them, you know a copy of our logo. The right, but board. they haven't done a mock-up of this. No. No, that would come okay. next. We'd get a proof before it would be built, but that would be if we sign the quote. Well, we'd want to see a mock-up before we do anything. I mean, just a graphic mock-up because that seems like a reasonable thing to ask for. Where yeah. does the money come from to pay for this? From our administrative funds. And that would be a big bite. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think I think we've got a. I've got this right now, Tony. I am sending this out to the committee. Um, and we will we will talk about this further. But thanks very much for your initiative and and getting this going. You're it, welcome. It really is needed. It really is needed. Uh, well, anything else? Yeah. Can I just, uh, something administrative. So um, I submitted the minutes that I, I completed my minutes from two weeks ago. And, and I completed the bottom section about when we approved those minutes. And I sent them to Diane Dunphy. And they are now up on our page. So. 
can we request that everyone who does the minutes then finishes them by putting that date in like that Lynn you would finish that on the bottom of your minutes and send it to Diane and Paul puts that sentence in at the end of his what date are you referring to every minute. minute every minute needs to get sent to the clerk and there's a paragraph like two a sentence that goes at the end of the minutes which I put and Lynn put yeah what date do you refer are you referring to the date you send it to her if you read the sentence, it's at the bottom of the minutes, and it has to be the date when it's approved by the committee, and that goes in the minutes. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Every minute at the bottom has the date that it's approved. Right. I just yeah. wanted to know. All, all, all Nancy is doing is reminding me that that's my task since right. I did these minutes, and right. they were approved tonight, and I will do that. And whoever is doing the minutes has that responsibility. Right. And then to that, send it on to good. Diane, and then to send it to Diane Dunphy. Yeah. Who will and, acknowledge and your receipt and tell you that it's on the website. Got it. Thanks. Thanks, Nancy. That's a good Thank reminder. Thank you. Okay. All right. I move to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> second. A second on that. Okay, all in favor, Paul. Aye. Ellen. Aye. Nancy. Aye. Austin. Aye. Their vote aye. So we are adjourned. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Tony, and for for your initiative with the sign program. And uh, we'll keep at it. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. So, Ellen. Um, Send over that stuff tomorrow. Uh, I I got an email draft. I'm gonna hit send to Kristen right now, and then uh, if we have any time tomorrow or questions, we'll call you and uh, we can take a look at the draft. Uh, pub, you know the page before it's published. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.